Williams. Okay, a couple fun questions here because I, I want to take the opportunity to let the audience get to know you a little bit better. Um, I, we know you love dogs. If you follow <laughs> Dana on Instagram, you, you must be the all-time greatest dog mom ever. I don't know if anybody's <laughs> ever given you that title. But I, 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 I think I'll take I, it. I think you're up there. I think it's going to be hard to find somebody that's above you. So she's she's a great follow on Instagram, by the way, at Dana Perino. Uh, but I got to ask you, do you enjoy the five uh, more than you do uh, what I think is the smoothest dude on television, Bill Hemmer? Had opportunity to have <laughs> dinner with him a couple times at some of our Ramsey media events. Oh yeah, up here he's, in New York, he loves those. He's such a kind dude, and he's Very so smooth. Uh, tell us about the five and tell us about working with him real quick. Cause I only got so about the, seven minutes with you. Okay. So the five was supposed to be a five week temporary show. I was, I had been in Africa doing some advocacy work for maternal and ch children's health. Mm -hmm. And I was getting my bags at baggage claim in Dulles airport in Washington, DC. Yeah. And I get a call from John Finley of Fox news asking if I'd come up for five weeks, temporary show in the summer. Uh, until they figured out what they were going to do with the 5 p.m. slot that Glenn Beck was um, vacating. Right. And I was like, oh, of all the things I do, I loved doing Fox hits the most. But right. who wants to live in Manhattan right. in July and August? Right. That's Ugh. the worst time oh, terrible. of the summer for, for here. But I said yes. And I called my husband, who was in Korea. Again, he keeps coming back up, right? And I said, can you believe this? And I tell him. To ask and he said oh, congratulations I said, why he said this is what you always wanted to do yes full circle and as a kid i remember one of the things i wanted to do was to not just be a local news anchor i wanted to be a panelist a guest on a sunday show of course i used to have an argument with my sister about going to early service versus late service on sunday because if we went to early service plus sunday school we got home in time to watch meet the press the tim russell and, the greatest of all time yes and also yeah. and my sister would be so annoyed with me. Um, <laughs> By the way, that's not normal, but I think it's fantastic. Yeah, it's not normal <laughs> at all. So I sit next, to, uh, we sit down to do the five. Nobody has any expectations of what right. the show is going to be. Nobody knows each other really that well. Wow. Greg and I sit down for the first time we've ever had a conversation and we're, we're seated next to each other because we're the shortest. And for the lighting purposes, of course, right. they had to have us together. And we hit it off so well that Suzanne Scott, the current CEO of Fox News, yeah. who started the five, she said that she was in the control room for the first five minutes and said, this show's going to be fine. Yeah. And so that was in 2011. And number we are one in our rated 12th show. Year. Number one. Yeah, rated we're in show. our 12th, 12th year. Wow. I, I love it so much. But I also love the news. Yeah. And Again, Suzanne Scott, you know, she anticipate she knew how best to utilize my talents. Mm -hmm. And now I have the best of both worlds. Yeah. I get to do the news in the morning with an incredibly gracious and generous colleague who yeah. is joyous in his work. That's yeah. Bill Hemmer. Yeah. And then later in the day, even though it's a long day for me, um, I get to be with my pals on the five. Yeah. So I kind of have the best of both worlds. And I love doing election night coverage too. Oh, I, I can't I, I can't get away from it. I I, the big board has changed political coverage. You know, John King made it famous. Now Bill's doing a great yeah. job, and MSNBC's MSC, got Bill some Bill has – that's a lot of work. You know, he, he oh, it's almost yeah. like he's got flashcards so that he can know all of these races. To know that and to be able to move on that board, it's fantastic stuff. All right, uh, I want to honor your time. I've got five minutes left. I want to use all five minutes. Um, what we've talked about today I think has been, I hope, a tremendous encouragement to people. Um and the title of your last book, Everything is Going to Be Okay. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I, I just, it is. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and yet it doesn't feel like that. I want to give you the last word. Mm -hmm. Speak to people right now who aren't where they want to be. There's a gap between mm -hmm. where they are and mm -hmm. where they want to be. Might be financial, might be professional, might be relational, all the things. Uh, what would you say to them from your journey to encourage their heart right now to keep going? I think I'd go back to what my... Um colleague and friend um, at the church group had said to me, which is to fear not. Mm. I do feel, Ken, that I worried my 20s away. Mm. And I don't want anyone to have to do that because it's not necessary. If you are an educated American, r right now, there's a lot of opportunity. There's, a, there's, adverse, there's challenges, mm -hmm. but there's so much opportunity for you. And you won life's great lottery by being born in America. Yeah. We are a free country. We got our problems, but I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Yeah. So 
there's that. The other thing is life is a decision-making experience. And instead of feeling weighed down by the decisions in front of you, embrace choices. You get to make decisions. You get to choose. Everybody gets a choice. And you can decide how you want to live your day. Like I, I have a kind of, I don't like to say have a nice day. Mm. I'd like to say have either have a great day uh-huh. or have a consequential day. Oh, have I like a day that. that matters. Yeah. Have a day that matters. Your life matters. And truthfully, in the end, Ken, everything will be okay. That's right. That's correct. So how you live your life from birth until the Lord decides it's the end, you have to know that at the end, everything will be okay. And therefore, all of this time that we spend on earth worrying is wasted energy. Hmm. So to how can you take that energy of all of that worry and convert it into energy that fuels you? Mm. You can do it, but it's a choice. You have to decide to do it. And I think shows like yours and what you and Dave Ramsey do, it's, it's, it's incredibly helpful to people because here's the other thing. You're not the only ones going through it. That's exactly right. Absolutely everybody in the world has problems. So live outside yourself as well. Self-care is great. I got great, but, but get outside yourself. Do you know, Ken, that they've now showed that every time you are kind to somebody else, it releases endorphins yes. as if you were exercising. Yep. So why not be more kind Yeah. and, and get mm. those feelings That's in good. your life? You can do it to anybody that you run into. Send a note to somebody that you haven't heard from in a while. Take that time to reach outside, but, but living outside your, yourself is a great way to make sure that you are having a great life in between those two points of life and death. Amen. That is good. You are a model of grace, class, certainly <laughs> kindness. And, uh, I, and I know you're very, very busy. Uh, you've been very kind to uh, me and, and, and some of the projects that I've done. And I always enjoy being on the air with, with all of the Fox personalities, but you're doing good work. And uh, what you've done today in taking out of your valuable time to share your heart, your story is going to touch somebody. And we don't take that lightly. So you've made us better. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. It's really good to know you. And I hope that we see each other in person one day soon, but it's good to see you on this video. Absolutely.